Alright guys, welcome back. I'm going to tell you how today to get XP very fast. To do this, you're going to want to start by going to the bounty area where you get bounties and accept all five or five of the same type of bounties so you don't want three campaign bounties and two crucible. That's stupid. Get five of the same type. So when you're in Crucible, you can be achieving towards all five instead of just three. Um, it's very, very easy. Uh, of course, you don't want to get a bounty that you have no idea how to get. You might want to look on how to get that, such as, like, there was a little bit ago, there was a medal. I had no idea what the medal was about, how to get it, anything. The wiki or something like that should have something on that medal for you to... Uh, uh, so you can understand it. Um, so we're going to go and cut soon uh, to gameplay here. It's also going to be like a little bit of a tip video. I'm going to share some of my tips, not all of them, because um, I can't I can't share them all. But um, so one of the most important tips I can give to you for helping achieving your goal of completing the bounty is know when to run away from a fight honestly it this isn't call of duty you can't just stay there and continuously fire bullets down the lane hoping you'll get the kill you have to be more strategic than that and that's what i i mean it's oftentimes what i'll do um i'll know when to run away from the fight obviously um another thing is know the map and by that I mean obviously know the map but other than that you're going to want to know whether to use a shotgun or a sniper or a fusion rifle maybe for your secondary this I mean you might think eh, I'm just gonna stick with my um, my pulse rifle or my um, what's the others auto rifle or scout rifle and yeah that's good and all but you secondaries are surprisingly helpful and if you don't use them you should really start to use them um they're quite good most of the time i think there's maybe two or three maps of which i will snipe on because there's long range corridors that kind of lead to the a flag or no i think it's actually b flag on one of the maps and i can i can get massive amounts of kills there um but know the map know whether to use a shotgun or a sniper and maybe sometimes a fusion rifle and then rocket launchers are the best heavy I don't see why you wouldn't use one there are one shot within like uh, you can shoot 10 feet from the guy and they'll get a one shot pretty much uh, if you're playing control just shoot in the middle of the control flag and you'll get a hundred percent kill everybody within the radius of that flag um, that's oftentimes what I'll do I'll make sure I have heavy ammo and um, I'll save that for those moments when, oh man, there's like three or four people on that flag. And you can tell how many people are on it before you turn the corner by how fast the um, the capture rate is going up. If it's going like slow, there's one person, maybe two. Uh, so you know that you could um, just run in there and maybe gun them down. Um, unless one of the people is outside of the circle, in which case, you know, you gotta prepare for situations like that. Uh, so again, just don't go guns blazing. Make sure you have an escape route. Make sure you have the ability to run away if you need it. And I know, guys, you might think, wow, you're such a coward. I hate when people run away. Um, if you want those high kill streaks, like, I mean, for example, I mean, I probably get like a 10 kill streak maybe once a game, at least once a game. Uh, actually, I can't say that, but often I'll get a 10 kill streak. Um, definitely a 5 kill streak, either once or twice a game. Maybe 3. Nah, I, I can say there's some games where I've probably gotten a 5 kill streak uh, about 4 times. Um, that, but that's because I know when to run away. And it 
it really is a very very useful tip Enemy captured to uh, surviving but I'm not sure if they do it anymore back to the XP topic here um, how to get XP fast crucible also gives you XP now when I went on today I didn't see that they did that and I'm not sure if it's just a glitch or a, a thing they removed or um, I'm not sure but when I was playing crucible I was ranking up and I love crucible to rank up it is so useful um, one of the more useful uh, ways to uh, actually rank up um, and now for the campaign side of things I know I'm not going to show any campaign gameplay here but campaign is also useful uh, I think it, in my opinion uh, it will take me longer to complete a campaign um, campaign bounty just because some of them are ridiculous like getting a hundred kills without dying and if you're like me you're always playing on the hardest difficulty and you're going to die and um, so the only other way to get that would be to just camp the level one spawns and just continuously go for them and that's boring no one wants to do that which is why I don't choose campaign bounties although you get the vanguard rank which is important to the game too um, so, also, make sure, I would suggest, Zone A. I don't know, I mean, this is hard, I would never choose a scout rifle, I'm just saying that right now, I would never choose a scout rifle, I don't like them, they're not very good, in my opinion, um, I mean, they're one shot burst, uh, fire, I usually go with the pulse rifle or auto rifle. The auto rifle was very good in the uh, beta. I had a level 8 auto rifle. Uh, it was uncommon and it was the recoil un unnoticeable. So good. If you get the proper Zone auto B rifle, lost. you can just throw pulse rifles and scout rifles out the window if you get the right auto rifle. Uh, if you get like a legendary one, you rank that baby up. Make ha like it'll do extra damage. Have the other um, what's it like a different reticle or not reticle but a uh, like a red dot, a different red dot site. If you get one of those, those are amazing, and you're going to want to keep that because they are very very good. Um, I would use one, but I don't have one. The auto rifle right now that I have, I think this is the gameplay that I showed it in. Maybe um, it's a more or less a uh, like a bullet hose pretty much it uh, just lays bullets down field has terrible recoil uh, 52 bullets to a clip that's a auto rifle guys 52 bullets to a clip it has one of the highest fire rates I've seen in a gun I don't even think there's machine guns that have a higher fire rate maybe there is I could be wrong um, but it is a definitely a bullet hose weapon um, I don't like it at all so I use a pulse rifle instead but as for this goes guys um, uh, please please like comment subscribe um, share the video if you feel generous enough and um, as for this goes guys I'll see you next time